ages and ages ago, in the time of our ancestors, the forces of evil led by Shadowar had subjugated almost the entire world. The kingdom of Golan Mor, the last remaining bulwark of civilization, was on the verge of succumbing to evil's fury. My valiant warriors. Sire, shouldn't we be in battle? Hold on to your bold enthusiasm, my young Altar. There is a much more substantial task that awaits you. And I did not want it. We are the last stronghold of the ancestral world. Shadowa spreads death and destruction. One last effort is all I ask of you. An extreme sacrifice to slow down his advance to completion of the great wizard's spell. Don't worry, sire. We are ready. No. You cannot imagine what power he yields. I assure you, it is something beyond our means. All we can do is slow him down. He's coming. You treacherous son of a bitch. Your point of view is limited, but I understand. We were at peace. All the kingdoms were at peace. Are you crazy? No, brother. It was not peace. It was a privileged situation for us nobles. It was a stalemate. It was immobility. It was death. Things had to get started. And this is the solution. Complete destruction. Yes. While my king and faithful friends strove to hold back Shadowar on the battlefield, I, Melek, in those last moments of my life, was preparing to cast my darkest spell. The king's valiant soldiers fought fiercely to stop Shadowar. But all seem to be lost. Why? Why all this? Are you a fool? 
No. I'm the god of destruction. Mara! Here I am, my friend. This is for you! That day, Shadow, the god of destruction, and all his army were defeated by my sacrifice. Golanmor came at the head of those who did not want to fall into the alliance of Shadow. But war is terrible, and even a great leader cannot win forever, especially cannot conquer time. More and more tired, Golanmor was waiting for the moment when he passed the command to his two sons, Iruma and Myrok. The two brothers were valiant leaders, and under their leadership, the forces still loyal to Shadowar suffered heavy defeats. The forces of chaos retreated. Peace was coming back. And you're done. Although the enemy's not going to tell you the same. You're more than likely going to have a blade piercing right now. I really thought I was in trouble. You know what amazes me? Even after almost a decade of fighting how to wars evil forces, you still carry a tender heart. You know, my uh, sometimes I just wish... I just wish you would... Be more like you, brother. No. I wish you wouldn't hesitate. Because when it comes time to fight those evil forces, as you know, they're not going to show mercy. So why should you? All right. How about a rematch? Go.
get up, my son. I'm sorry, Father. We will find your brother. Come with me. Latia, I believe you have news for us. Yes, my king. But you have to act immediately. Explain, Tia. Prince Iruma is still alive, but there is a reason that he has not yet been killed. Our enemies have hidden their intentions, which have been obscured up to this point. I ask you forgiveness, sire. Don't ask me for forgiveness. I want to know what's going on. The forces of Chaos are losing the war with their weapons. That's why they decided to use a descendant of the original ancestral lineage of the world to use one of our weapons against us. The Sacred Armor. But I thought the Sacred Armor was just a legend. No, my son. It was used in a previous war, but considered too dangerous by the Mother of All. It was then broken into four different pieces, each of which was entrusted to a guardian. But now, it is possible that the forces of Chaos will use Iruma to retrieve it. Iruma risks becoming a puppet in the hands of our enemies. I will recover it. I will find it before they do, and I will save Iruma. It will be very difficult, Prince Myrok. If you move with an army, or even a group of men, you risk being attacked. I know you have a spell that can make only one person invisible to their magic. So I will go alone. Sire? I'm... I'm fine. The spell requires a lot of energy. You will not feel anything, but it worked. You will be invisible to the enemies. I promise, Father. I will bring the room home. I trust you, boy. Here. Open the portal. Good luck, my son.
my son. Monitoring him will not be helpful. Indeed, this spell of connection, though protected, could give our enemies a way to retrace us. We'll run the risk. I know he's the only one who could complete the mission. I don't want to lose him too. More said no. You belong to the ancient race. Yes. Are you here for the sacred armor? Yes. I possess one of the four stones that can summon one part. But this stone keeps the balance of my lands. The entire ancestral world is in danger of being destroyed. I need that stone in order to keep that from happening. You have entrusted this in our care. There's a war out there. I've seen it. I fought in it. You don't want this to end badly for everyone. I beg you, please give me that stone. And you would like to save the ancestral world from the forces of evil? <laughs> you make me laugh. You're pathetic. Try to be patient, you splinter face. I am Myra! Son of Golden War! I have fought! On the bastions of Orion! I have defeated the armies of Shadow War! What do you know about me? He succeeded. Have confidence in your son, my king. The time available is short, but he will do it.
Please, do not force me to kill you. I am here to save the ancestral world and everyone in it. And that includes all of you. Sisters, get up. Warrior, why disturb the peace of my temple? It was not my intention. My sincerest apologies. Why are you here? to save the ancestral world from that bastard Shadowar's tyranny. Shadowar. Get up. Come inside and tell me more. But, my queen. Sister, quiet. I can understand perfectly well that this man has no hostile intention. Therefore, I want to listen to what he has to say. Free him. Where's the stone? The stone that evokes the sacred armor? I have it. How do you know what that is? I thought by now the memory of that stone would have been lost in time. How do you know? You're so... young. I am much older than you can imagine, young one. So, what do they call you? I am Myrock, son of Golan Moor. <laughs> A prince, of course. I am Lantris, and I have been here for many years, without being able to grow old, without being able to leave, and all because of that bastard. A long time ago, Shut a war began to conquer the surrounding territories of your father's kingdom. One by one, rulers devoted themselves to his cause, betraying Golan War. His evil reign reached even as far as these lands. My Amazons and I resisted as long as we could, but our efforts were futile, and in our defeat, Shut a war took over. He possessed uh, one of the stones that could evoke the sacred armor. And he used that power against me, binding me to the stone forever. You fought with honor, and thus I'll spare the lives of you and your Amazons. I'll be back when the time is right. Until then, 
You will be cursed to be the guardian of the stone. Over time, some of Shadow War's allies try to overthrow him and seize the stone. One of them managed to mortally wound me. Or so I thought. I did not die. After that, I met a clairvoyant named Atia. I sought her help to figure out what had happened to me. Shadowa, use the power of the stone to make you immortal. And only through that same stone, you can get back to being an ordinary human being. She did everything in her power to break the spell, but Shadow War's curse was too powerful. Only that one day, a warrior will come who will be able to break the spell. So, why should I care about saving this ancestral world of yours? It's not just that. It is to save someone very important to me. Tell me more. I don't have much time before my brother becomes a puppet in their hands. With that armor, they could destroy the entire ancestral world and everyone in it. And that includes your Amazons. I understand. And I will help you. But I cannot give you the stone, so... I will go with you. No. It's something I must do on my own. Don't be a fool, Myrock. I'm immortal. And an ally that cannot die may be very beneficial. I don't know what to say. How about good night? Who are you? The Shadow War sent you? What have you done with Lantis? No, 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 no. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Lantris. I didn't mean to. I thought you were the one. I did not die. I will never die. My family, my friends. They've all disappeared, and I will stay like this alone forever. Forgive me. Forgive me, my rock. I really thought you were the one. I 
I knew I couldn't convince you to kill me. I'm sorry. Sisters, get up. I've decided to join the prince's journey. But my queen. My duty is to guard the stone. Wherever the stone goes, I'll go with it. And maybe on this trip, I'll find a way to break the spell that had cursed me. OK, but we come with you. No. The prince is protected by a spell that makes him invisible to his enemies. And even this curse allows me to be invisible as well. But I need you here. My king. Boilatir? The prince was able to recover the second stone. Oh. Everything's going as it should. Maybe there is a hope. I'm sure, my lord. And now your son is also being helped by someone. What? The mission has been discovered. No, my lord. This is someone that I have known a long time ago. Myra, are you okay? Maybe we should slow down. You don't understand. We don't have time. If even one of those stones falls in the hands of our enemies, my brother and the entire ancestral world are doomed. My rock. What happened? The vital signs of my rock. What happened to him? Is no, not dead. But they are very weak. Wounded in combat? Was he betrayed by that person you told me about? No, my lord. Your son is... An idiot. What a complete idiot. I've never met someone so devoted to his cause to risk his own life for it. I just... What happened? You fell unconscious. Now, could you please explain to me why you kept hitting the wound that I caused you during our fight? You really are an idiot, Prince Myrock, son of Golan Moor. Stone should help you heal. Yeah. By you, you must be exhausted. Since I've been given this curse, my rock, I do not feel the need to rest, nor drink, nor eat, nor.
What's wrong? What are you thinking? Many men wish for immortality. But if they really knew what it meant to be immortal, I'm sure they would change their minds. Oh, look. Seems too damn easy. I agree. That's why I will try to take the stone. But... My rock, use your head. Right. You're invincible. That's right. Just need your help. Guardian! Prove to me you are worthy of your first name. Free Lantris! <sighs> or what? All right, then. Do you really want to generate the wave of energy that could destroy this temple? Why not? That way you won't be able to hide, like a coward. And if I were to kill her? That's impossible. She's immortal. Really? Ah! You're just trying to confuse me! Ah! She said she wants to get rid of the curse, but not to die right away. Shut up. And if now that she has known you, she no longer wishes to die? Shut up! And you! Everyone would see that you're madly in love with her. You would not want to see her die, right, Prince Myrock? Ah! You can do better than that. I'll be right back. Ah! 
How about you try that again? How is this possible? I can see you now. I can sense your energy. Prepare to die. Sorry, Guardian. This is not how I wanted it to end. Now, free lanterns. Don't worry. Your time will come soon enough. Soon you will all die, Prince Myrox, son of Golan Moor. How do you know me? I was created to protect the stone from Shadow War, and he's making his return. You've been here far too long. Shadow War's dead. Nelik defeated him with this spell ten years ago. All that actually died was his physical form, not his soul which lived on. He still commands the dark forces, and now has a new physical form, a body from the ancestral race. And once he finds that sacred armor, then nothing will be able to stop him. My rock! Lantris! My brother. The host body for Shadow War. Look, I'm not gonna tell you I know what you're feeling, but don't lose control. You already have three of the stones, only one is left. We'll make it in time. We will. What do we do about him? There's nothing you can do for me. I'm going back into the shadows where I've always been. But beware, because Shadow War is coming back, and the ancestral world will enter an age of darkness it has never seen before. <laughs> Every stone and each test makes him stronger, increases his powers. There is only one stone left. What do you see in the future? Maybe he really will succeed in saving his brother. He has already demonstrated many times his value in battle. Why do you doubt Myrock, my liege? Myrock has always lived in the shadow of his older brother, Iruma. I thought he was a poor imitation of his older brother. But I was wrong. He's a worthy son and a great warrior. He has a pure heart. And the man who can accomplish this task is a man like him. A man who deeply loves his brother. A man who believes in something for which is worth fighting.
There it is. We're almost there. We will find your brother. I know. I know. You are not alone. Remember this. Hi. Whatever nonsense you're about to say, just wait until we've recovered the last stone. Right. Let's go. Go find the stone. I'll take care of this. Right. Just need the stone. I don't want to fight. Oh well. Twice the fun. Ah! <laughs> 
My rock? A little help? Perhaps you could be a hero after all. Perhaps. Did you get the stone? Of course I did. My king. He did it. Sorry to have doubted you, my son. Where's your stone? someone else from evoking the sacred armor it is not possible what is not possible Atia, tell me when the four stones came together their joint power swept away the magic what do you mean explain yourself that now my rock is visible to the forces of shadow but do something warn him of the danger he is in my powers are not strong enough. I can't reach it with my mind. Now, my rock is alone. The sacred armor. My rock, what's that? 
Stay back. That's the same portal, my brother. My brother, Aruma! My rock, watch out! Remember what the shadow told you! Aruma! Brother! I was imprisoned by Shadow Horse forces. They had me imprisoned until someone gathered the stones to invoke the sacred armor. Aruma! Better off staying dead. You want to fight me? You really are an idiot. Yeah, uh, maybe. But don't underestimate this idiot. Part of you is still inside there. Mara, please. It's too easy. Brother. I wish you wouldn't hesitate. Because when it comes time to fight the single force. They're not going to show mercy. So why should you?
king, everything is lost. Myrock. Yuruma. Shadowa. How is this possible? I swear I'd return, Golanor. Atia. Cooler girls. I fear she is so overwhelmed with emotion to be able to find her words. What happened to my sons? Your children are all dead, my dear king. And now it's your turn. The era of the ancestral world ends here. This is the rise of my kingdom. The beginning of chaos. However, this isn't the right stage for my triumph. Come, King. It's time to die. This time, no one and nothing will be saving you. Ends here. You are a fool, Shadowa. You may kill me, but you will never win. I could feel the spell breaking. I haven't yet turned back into a mortal. But I can now fully control the energy that makes me immortal. worth nothing compared to yours. I love to send truth, my rock. But I've never felt truly alive until I met you. Ages. An important destiny awaits you, young girl. Go. Save your kingdom.
Understand. This is the sacred armor. Should this little scene impress me? It's the sacred armor, Shadow War. Exactly like yours. Perhaps even more powerful. You see, the armor is a concept created long ago to store a large amount of energy in physical form. What you wear is simply a container of that energy. And the stones that evoke it are only one means to harness it. These arm guards, given to me by my father, I created a bond with that energy. And I am now powerful enough to evoke sacred armor of my own! Sacrifice and loss, a prince learns how to become a king. And so, a new history of the ancestral world began. But this is another story.